Hello, I am your Fast Technical, and welcomes you. In previous video, we have seen some basics of Java programming language, with its magic engine. If you haven't watched it yet, then watch it first. Link is in description. In this video we will see some more functions and methods in Java programming language. But before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel then subscribe it, and press the bell icon for never missing any video. Now let's move on. Every symbol and letters are important in Java. If you will remove a single bracket from your script, then your code will not work, an error will pop up. Now, let's see how to write Java correctly. First there will be a package name on the top of your script. After that, there will be some imports. After that our class will be created. The class should start with a curly bracket and end with a curly bracket, and every code should come between these two curly brackets. Variables are also created between these two curly brackets. And methods are also created between these two curly brackets. As you know this is a start method, and it also have curly brackets, and every code in start method will come between its two curly brackets. This are known as attributes of our class. And this is the method of our class. After the end curly bracket of start method, repeat method will be created. And it also have curly brackets, and every code will come between its two curly brackets. Hence, every symbol and letters are important in Java. Now let's discuss the public keyword. Public is an access modifier, meaning that it is used to set the level of access. You can use access modifiers for classes, attributes, and methods. Public keyword come before the methods, and it also come before the classes. But do you know, it also comes before the attributes. Yes, public string name. After adding public keyword to our attributes, our variables will become public. Let's see. You can see our variables are showing outside, because of public keyword. We can access them, directly from here. But before that, let's do some changes in our script. We don't need this, because we will access this variables from outside.
Let's add space between it. Similar to public keyword, private keyword is also an access modifier. This keyword will make our variables private. Now we cannot access them from outside. This is public class A, and this is public class B. If we will create a variable in a class with public keyword, then it can be accessed in public class A, and, public class B also. But if we will add private keyword to variable, then it can be accessed in public class A, but, it cannot access in public class B, error will occur. We have already learned, that we can only print a string in the console. We cannot print int, double or other variables. We have print name string now, but we cannot print the age in console. If we add a string into an int variable then the answer will be string only. For example, if we add string name Jack, in int age 18, then the answer will be Jack 18. And Jack 18 is a string because it contains alphabets. Similarly, if we add int variable, into an int, then the answer will be, int only. For example, if we add 9, into 3, then the answer will be 12, not 93. But we cannot put this 12 in our code. So first we have to make this a string and then we can put this into our code. But if we want to print an int variable in console, then we cannot put quotation mark because it will become the string whose value is, age. So you have to use this code. String, dot, value of, bracket open, bracket close. Int variable will come between this two brackets. And this code will be placed in our console.log code. Remember, S should be capital, and this O should also be capital, and two brackets. First we have to give a value to our age variable. Let's put the value to 20. Reset semicolon for compiling. Now let's put operators with our int variable. There are five operators, first, addition, second, subtraction, third, multiplication, fourth, division, and fifth, modulo. Now let's use the operators in our script. First we have to remove these things. Now we will create int variables num1, and num2. Now we will use operators on it. Addition operator will add num1 in num2.
Answer is 9 plus 3 equals 12. Subtraction operator will subtract num2 from num1. Answer is 9 to 3 equals 6. Multiplication operator will multiply num2 into num1. Answer is 9 times 3 equals 27. Division operator will divide num2 by num1. Answer is 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Modulo operator divides num2 by num1 and returns the remainder of it. If we will divide 31 by 3 then the remainder will be 1. Now let's see what is Java comments. The purpose of including comments in your code is to explain what the code is doing. If we will add two forward slashes before our code, then that line will become a comment. All characters that appear within a comment are ignored by the Java compiler. This has became a comment. And it will make the whole line a comment. And it will make the whole line a comment. But if we want to make multiple lines a comment, then we will use this. That's all for today, we will continue this tutorial in next video. Hope you all understood all things. If you have any problem then comment me below. And you can join our discord server also, we daily helps people in the discord server, link is in description. And if you haven't liked the video then please like it, share it with your friends and relatives. I will see you in the next tutorial, till then. Bye bye.